In space, no one can hear you scream. So we have the newest Alien movie, Alien Romulus, now in theaters. Now I've been a fan of this franchise for a very long time and have been waiting for a new Alien movie to just come along and just be great. Just be a great Alien movie in this franchise. So the question is, does Alien Romulus live up to that? So this was actually one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Like I said before, I love the franchise. Been waiting for a great Alien movie. And some of the trailers that we got have really been living up to like you know that hype been really building up that hype for this movie to where they're giving us some great things in the trailers that i've been seeing and really building up that hype to where i was really hyped for this movie and couldn't wait to watch it and i really wanted to see what fide alvarez could bring to the alien franchise with this movie for the most part I'm, I'm actually glad to say that this is the alien movie that i've been waiting for and i do say the most part we're going to get into why it's does it live up fully I can honestly say this is a movie, this is an alien movie that I've really been waiting a long time for. This movie brings back a sense of horror which the franchise has been missing for a very long time. So I really did like that they brought the horror back. They brought all that back and I really enjoyed that much. You know, the sense of dread, the sense of suspense, tension, thrills at points. Just this sense overall, just everything that they brought into this movie. A sense of danger again. Now this movie definitely has some parts that were definitely gory at times. Even disgusting at times. Especially when it came to some of the face hugger parts. And some of the you know birthing parts in this movie. And I'm glad that they use practical effects in this movie. That's one of the things that Fede Alvarez was really critical on. That he said if we can do it through practical effects. Then we're going to do it through practical effects. And I'm so glad that he had that mindset. To be able to do that in this movie. To where... It's all practical effects majority of the time. Of course, there's CGI throughout some other parts. But practical effects is something that I love that people, uh, you know, in the filmmaking industry, when they're able to do practical effects, I believe in practical effects all the way. So to be able to get this in this movie, I think that was amazing and awesome to see in the movie. Now, I will say it does have its connections to other Alien movies in the franchise. Of course, the first Alien movie has some connections there. There's actually some connections to Prometheus and Alien Covenant. So I would say in a sense of what movies you could watch before going into this, I would say at least those three. Maybe Aliens also just for a good time to watch an Alien movie. But I would say those three that I listed off have some small connections in this movie. But honestly, other than that, I don't even think you really need to have seen any other Alien movies to get a kick out of this one or to be able to enjoy this one. And this movie does add a little lore to the Xenomorphs and the Facehuggers themselves. We get to see a little bit more extended things within the process of all that and i like that it leans so much into the horror things with the face huggers themselves and xenomorphs they are scary in this movie especially when it comes to some of the face huggers the face huggers are scary they're super aggressive probably the most scary and most aggressive that i've ever seen them in any other alien movie now i was saying earlier how this is the alien movie for the most part is the alien movie that i kind of been waiting for now there is a small percentage probably mostly a majority of the third act to where we get to that part in the movie to where I did not like the direction that they went. That's the only main thing about this movie that I did not like was the whole third act. At least the majority of the third act. That direction they went, I did not like it. I didn't, It just felt so out of place in this movie. Like it didn't really fit or go along with the story so much. And it just really kind of really kind of takes inspiration from a previous alien movie i won't really say i'm not going to say that the alien movie that takes inspiration from or feels that way because they'll just give away and kind of spoil it but it does definitely take some inspiration that is feels familiar to a previous alien movie that we got so really that is the only main thing i could really think of in this movie to where it's like i didn't really like that direction that they went visually this movie looks amazing it looks so well done in this movie the scope of like space like when they're seeing the scenes in outer space the the set pieces they look amazing all use of practical effects and everything just looks amazing in this movie like this movie has the feel and look of an alien movie it has the same familiar vibes of an alien movie it has all those horror elements in here it just has all those familiar vibes that really harkens back to like the first two alien movies has a great atmosphere overall but really this movie plays out similar sort of similar to like the first alien movie to where we get a slow build up start to the movie to where they're trying to build up these characters that way you're able to sort of get invested with the within these characters 
and the action and seeing the xenomorphs and aliens themselves don't really start until later on in the film so it really dives into you know having that build up in the beginning of the movie and i will say that some of these characters are not necessarily as strong as some other characters in the franchise but you can still kind of get you know feel somewhat a small connection with these characters i honestly like the uh the relationship that we get between um andy and kaylee spaney character their relationship in the movie you know where they're sort of pseudo brother and sister in a way uh really like their relationship the sound design in this movie is honestly on another level it's pretty amazing the way they're able to have the design sound design in this movie to where there's use of loud noises or bangs or you know there's use of silence or the squelching noises that you hear from like different parts in the movie of like you know the aliens or the birthing parts or anything like that like it's just the use of sound design overall in this movie was definitely of great use and it was just amazing i will say though it does hit a couple of the same plot beats as the first alien movie uh, if you're able to like actually notice that in the movie if you know the first alien movies pretty well you're able to see some of those plot beats that kind of hits overall this seems like it's a movie for alien fans you know if you're an alien fan i could see you kind of at least majority alien fans there's probably going to be some fans out there that might not like the direction or some things they do in this movie but i can see how you know how this movie can actually be made for alien fans to where alien fans are going to enjoy this movie i will say though that like i said before the third act is definitely divisive for me myself i didn't like the direction that i went but i do see some people that are actually liking that direction so that is definitely going to split some fans overall when it comes down to it i will say this is definitely a solid addition to the alien franchise honestly this is a movie that i did like and enjoy for the most part but of course, it can't top those first two Alien movies. So when it comes down to it, what are your thoughts on this movie? Let me know down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and turn notifications on. So you know I post another video. Hope you have an awesome day. And I'll see you on the next one.